What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. And today I'm going to be doing a quick Keith Haring exercise that you can use as a lesson. You can try it on your own, whatever floats your boat. But before we get started, remember guys, smack that like button, leave a comment, click and subscribe. Any feedback will be appreciated. All right. And for any um, drawing or anything like that, I always would suggest using a pencil, sketch it out first. And for this one, I'm using an HB pencil, regular size paper, eight and a half by 11. You could do this vertical or horizontal. I'm choosing to do it uh, horizontal. So as we begin, you start off with two lines. pointing to either end of the page, right? Whatever side you, uh, whatever direction you have your, um, your paper oriented, right? And the inner lines are going the opposite direction. These ones are pointed out, the inner lines will be pointed in. And then you will come with some sort of shape comparable to a church steeple. All right, that's kind of shape in the middle. And this represents the torso. This would represent the elbow and the arms to try to make your life a little easier, right? Let's erase this down. You can have these kind of match up a bit, All right? This is, you could imagine this is underarm, it's under the arm. So it matches up with the other arm. And then now you come in with the other arm elbow, point it up, and other arm, elbow, point it up. And the thing is with Keith Aaron, it could be crazy, you can have one arm longer than the other, shorter, however, uh, it works. And what's cool about a Keith Aaron exercise, it's no detail, it's just really the structure and the movement of the human body, right? So it's all symbolism. So as we move here, we're gonna add the hands and you could think of it like a sock puppet no fingers no thumbs just kind of a backward C with a straight line and then you come back down to the elbow into where the shoulders might be all right let's bring this up the other hand these two characters basically will be holding hands into the elbow and then now we're gonna bring it into the shoulders and then complete the other arm. And what's cool about uh, getting this effect, you can have the hands going in separate directions. All right, that's gonna make it a hundred times more interesting. And as you come down into the shoulder, now you complete the head. And the head usually comes down a little bit under the so shoulder and you don't complete the full circle. You're just creating the illusion of the head. All right. And again, it does not have to be perfect. Sketch complete. All right, and for this one, we'll be doing the planet Earth. Let's go here. All right. And as long as you have the general shape of the continent, you'll be all right. It does not have to be perfect. All right. Antarctica, Asia, South Pole, whatever you want. As long as you have the symbolism there, you're done. All right. And now I'm going to go to my technical pen, or you can use marker. It doesn't matter. The thing about Keith Heron is the thick outlines of the characters. Now I'm gonna create another uh, layer, but if this was on paper, you would just go over the pencil and then you'll erase the loose pencil marks. Let's, let's get this as thick as I can make it.
And the thing with uh, Keith Heron is the thicker the outline, I think the better it looks. Let's see if we have a, a marker here. Okay, yeah, let's see if the marker is even thicker. Yeah, let's go with the thick outline. I like that. If we look at Keith Heron work, that is one of his hallmarks is that Thick outline. Let's get this going here. And I'm holding this for a perfect circle, but if you're doing this on your own, it does not have to be perfect. Actually, I think the less perfect it looks, the better it looks. It uh, it gives it more of a, a freestyle kind of look where it's, it's not too, you know, like you're not taking it too serious. Now let's turn off the pencil layer and we'll just come in with random colors. This one, color, this guy, let's get him reddish. The earth, let's come in with the blue waters. This blue here. And the green for the land. And of course, this is the type of thing you can use anything markers, crayons, color pencils. It's a cool exercise. And what's cool, you can do it with any grade level. I'm gonna come back here with the technical pen just to get some smaller lines. So if you were doing it with um, markers, you'd have thick and thin markers. And you, you Keith Aaron works, he has lines around, right? Oh. Lines to accentuate the characters and movement. So whatever lines you're putting around, you'd want to make your life easier. North, south, West and the East, and then you just come with the random lines to connect them. So once you have those lines, you can do any lines and usually you have movement lines around his characters, especially the people, there'll be some sort of movement. And should I make this a background? You can leave it white, right? And there you have it, folks, my Keith Herring design, right? And for a bonus, I'm just gonna show you guys another technique here. Not really a technique, another um, way you can use this design. So let me um, just take these guys out from the background and put them on their own. And what's cool here with this type of assignment you can do almost anything that these guys are holding up all right same lines north south east west all right let's uh now so I won't um, you be using red again. Let's change that and change the heart to red, right? Boom, and you changed up the whole look. And now we're gonna do that one more time. And let's do this.
And what makes this a cool exercise is you could freehand it. Don't have to use rulers, all right? You could freehand this thing and it does not have to be perfect. And I think that was one of the appeal of Keith Aaron was it's kind of free spirit. He didn't follow the norms. All right, these are different ideas you could come up with. If you're doing this as a class exercise or you're just trying it on your own. And we're just gonna do one more. That I just had an idea now. All right, uh, and this one would be a flag. For this one, we're gonna do on the corners here. All right, there you have it, folks. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let's move this here so you can get a good look. So we did this one, this, this, and this. And that is a quick Keith Heron exercise. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you utilize it. This can go for lessons or for a little self project. Until next time, y'all be good, be safe, peace.